TST Gaming, your destination for all things Halo. What's up Spartans, Batman here with TST giving you a much needed and yes very delayed map guide to recharge. Now part of the delay is personal reasons as well as I find it to be actually more effective if instead of giving you the map guides as soon as the maps come out, but doing it rather after hours of playing around on the map, doing jumps, learning strategies, where the flag spawns, all that kind of thing. So even though this video might not seem necessary, it could be useful to you to watch it. So if you enjoy it, please subscribe for more Halo content. But getting started, we have, we're basically spawning here at blue base. Now there's the glitch of course from training that had my weapon charm. So you have left, middle, and right lanes basically to kind of start out with because you just spawn on two symmetrical maps, two, maps, two symmetrical sides rather. So you have over shield or sometimes camo, which we'll show you in a bit, sniper, or energy sword. So basically close quarters, sniping, and then a power up. I usually go left if I'm spawned more left or right if I'm already spawned right, just because that way I might not be competing as much. If I'm spawning all the way over here, my other three teammates who might be going for sniper might have a better chance of getting it. But if you go to the middle, you can go up this ramp. You'll see a door. The only doors in multiplayer so far of the main maps, arena maps. And you'll see a red base over here. It's the exact same style as this, but you have a view of pretty much the whole map. You have grapple shot down there, you have some plasma grenades, S7 sniper, sometimes a skewer. On the other side, we have the energy sword, sometimes the gravity hammer. There is that again. And as soon as you zoom, it's gone. But one thing that's cool about being on top mid is you can jump and get to sniper very easily. You can pop where the flag spawns, which is right there. Sorry. Right, right there. You can pick it up, cover your teammates a little bit, and you can also jump back to top mid from there. Obviously you can jump here, a little bit further of a jump, but you can make it, especially if you clamber. Uh, we're going to start on the melee side of things, close quarters. We have, as you just saw, let me pick up some frag grenades. And let's actually... I want to see if, I want, if it's the north side or south side, I'm just kind of curious. Okay, so we're on the south side. Okay, we can switch that back. So, you have these two little catwalks in the back that aren't connected, but you can easily jump them. And you're going to see that there's a weapon platform for frag grenades on both sides. Then, down here, we have the repulsor. You can't go all the way down because you will die if you fall too far back. So, Repulsor's here. One thing that's overlooked a lot is there's usually a shoddy right here. So, remember it's on the south side, the side that has close quarters. That's the side that has the other close quarters power weapon. You think they bounce it a little bit better, but that one tends to get overlooked quite a bit in my opinion. If you come over to the sides, you're going to see you also can fall off over here. However, this is a nice little hiding spot if you have people coming up. But if you get trapped here and they start bouncing grenades, you're pretty much done. Um, over here, you have some really good climbing opportunities. Obviously, you can climb up here, but to get to the top of these catwalks, you can actually jump up and clamber and hurry quick to the other side. Usually, I hug the this area so that way you can kind of come in and out of cover as you need. They may try to pop the grenades, so you may not want to be too close to them. There is also a fusion coil. We'll go ahead and just throw that into the water. And you can also climb up here, so if you happen to, and I'll just do this for demonstration purposes, activate the overshield, you can actually jump up, clamber, or just crouch jump and get up top really quickly if someone's popping at you, because you have a little limited amount of cover with this little overhang. Likewise, if you're getting shot at from here, you can quickly drop down, drop down here, kind of hug the sides, come around either side. You can also use these little blocks as cover if you know someone's coming at you through here. But be careful not to fall, go too far back because you will fall off the map. Now, 
Energy Sword's kind of in a inconvenient spot in terms of visibility for balancing purposes, of course. So let's go ahead and move on to we're gonna be over by Red Base. You have this open hallway, which there's no weapons in here. However, you do need to be aware that this is where the flag spawns on this base, and there's a little ramp where people can walk up. You have your plasma or your pulse carbine, excuse me, that you can grab, which is a really powerful weapon when used with a ballistic weapon or a kinetic weapon, I should say. Now, over on red side, you have towards the middle these two little areas, two little balconies that have spike grenades. Now, in modes like Game of the or King of the Hill or Land Grab, if any of these are ever really viable, if you're shooting at a guy who's really dodging well, but he's hugging them, you can pop him. And it will actually do damage to him. And it's a non-moving target, which makes it slightly more of an easy shot to damage your opponent. Now here you can jump down, but again, you have that gap, so you need to be careful. Now, if you're good at curb sliding, which I am not, admittedly, I'm working on it, you can actually curb slide from over here to the other side. Otherwise, you can't get over there without using this or potentially a repulsor. So going back towards the base, this takes you over here, which, as you can see, there's glass. You can at least kind of peek. It's a little kind of, if we even use a sniper, it's still kind of obscured with the water, but you can at least peek and have a little idea. There is a disruptor over here. A lot of times you can just kind of crouch jump over this if you need, if you're in a quick getaway, or you can just slide, hug this, try to get some shield coverage or shield recharging going before you move back on. Now over on the north side of the pit, we have a shot coil. And at the bottom, we're gonna have a grapple shot as well as a kneeler or sentinel beam. And again, you have these little platforms that make it easy to fall off of. So you do need to be careful. But instead of having catwalks the same way, we do have these this bigger grandiose catwalk of sorts that leads up to a sniper. Again, very visible, but just so you know, you can see from the blue base to the red base very easily with this. But you're going to be more visible from the sword position, top mid, the blue base, red base, as well as behind you. So you want to kind of get it and run. And you can run from here to top mid and then try to get this going. Now, grenades are really helpful on top Sniper. mid. If you know that they're like going to be opening that door, you can throw a grenade. It'll spawn or it'll land. It'll blow up, hopefully damaging them. Or if you have regular frag grenades and the door's open, you can kind of like duck and bank the grenades, or bounce the grenades, I should say, and hope to get the enemies. So let's actually go on blue side. I can show you some of the more the jumps you may or may not know. So again, when you spawn, it's basically left, middle, or right. We're gonna go right here, and you can actually jump up. There's another cat, little uh, walkway down to the opposite side, because it's a symmetrical map. And this is actually a great place to kind of drop down and try to hide. On either side, you can try to be like this if you know someone's just walking around. But also, there's a little lip right here. I made it earlier, but let's see. We'll try the other one just because maybe I'm not feeling that one. So you have a little bit of a lip here. It, you don't have much room to move on, so it's not. I don't know if I'd recommend it, but just to be aware that that is an option for you, should you need it to hide. Might, might be able to save you from a grenade or two, but really it's better if you just do this. So, because then you can pop, if you have sniping, which is what I usually am, is a sniper, you can see the right side of red base, or blue base, being like I'm on that side, as well as the left side, as well as the bridge, their door right there, and the front. But you do have to be careful because, again, they can walk up here, as well as they tend to come around the corners on these catwalks back here. So it's very easy for them to do that. So you gotta be very wary when you're doing that, that you have to keep an eye on your radar. So sometimes if nothing's happening, I'll just scope out, I'll zoom out, or I'll just switch my gun and see the radar, because once you're zoomed in, obviously you can't see it. Over here we do have a BR. This is again, be this will be on the north side. BR on both sides, um, on the east and west. Sometimes it is a commando, which can be very helpful in this map. As far as strategies, again, 
because we know that there's basically a left, middle, and right to the map, a lot of strategies I see utilize these side areas, the catwalks and whatnot, because it's a lot harder, because you could throw the flag, or use, you know, you could just, if someone's bringing it, you can actually pick it up, clamber, or use the grapple shot. But it seems to be safer because you're not as visible. Because you could throw the flag here, drop back, and try to pop them if they're trying to stop you from getting the flag. Or you can throw the flag up here and even drop down and try to go for something quick. Now keep in mind this map is for standard spawns. This isn't for ranked. If you do want to see a ranked one, if we get 10 comments on this video saying I would like to see a ranked version of this map guide with the right spawns with the ranking, I'd be happy to do so. As far as being able to grapple shot around, you can, in this case, we're just going to give myself grapple shot, we're going to do unlimited. You can actually swing yourself over to the other side. I believe it is, yeah, because there's a mountain there, so it's got to be this side. So you want to kind of jump up. You fly with no jump back. Or do that, you know. Oh, I actually saved it. You can get to the other side as well, but I don't remember how I did that. It's been a while since I've tried to do it. This at least can take you away from being in danger or get you to the other side of the base. I've seen people do it on the other side of the base. It's been a while since I've seen it and or done it because I don't usually play flags. I usually play Slayer. I haven't had much need to do that. So let me see. So there's a mountain there. So it must be here. We're not meant to fly! Oh, no, don't do that. Did they update it? I can't imagine they would have updated it. Anyways, you, there is a way to do it. I just haven't been able to do it. Um, as you can see, I don't know what the reason is. Maybe they did block it off from being a, a path because of ranked. But that's pretty much it. This map is a lot of fun. The fact that you spawn a lot over here on the two bases makes it a little difficult sometimes because you can get spawn killed. Uh, easily if someone has a sniper and it's in the right spot, like if I'm over here on the catwalks. Um, and I could just kind of come over to the opposite side. Sorry, I meant to, meant to do that. I can kind of just peek through and see them spawning. Now, they could still spawn a little bit past that wall, but not a thing. Now, there are... Actually, I did forget. If you're ever in danger, specifically on the north side, I did forget this. But I think it's very important... You can actually jump on these. While you can use them for a... I mean, again, I wouldn't go too far back. But you can actually jump up. On this. And then you can jump up and get on the catwalk that's up here. From or you can drop down. So a lot of times, if I'm fighting a guy over here, he's throwing grenades, I'll drop down. And then you have a chance to go either here. Or you can either wait for him down here. Or you can even just go down here. Go up here where it may be by the time you get up here your shields are recharged. Or you can run away entirely. But typically keeping the high ground is what I recommend as much as you can. Use your scoped weapons because you I mean you can get snipes that are like you know pop here, pop down there. It just varies on the situation. So but this is definitely my favorite aesthetically looking map so far in the game uh, let us know what you think of this map in the comments below and that's all we have for today if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching tst gaming until next time just play